Good day everyone. Welcome once again to our uh, lecture for today. So our topic for today is about higher order derivatives and we'll also discuss the implicit differentiation for this uh, video. Alright, so these are the objectives for this lessons. So at the end of the uh, video, you should be able to compute higher order derivatives, uh, differentiate implicit functions. Okay, so what is this uh, higher order derivatives? If a function f is differentiable, then its derivative f prime is also called the first derivative of f. If the function f prime is again differentiable, its derivative denoted by f double prime is called the second derivative of f or second derivative of the function. Similarly, the third derivative of f denoted by f triple prime, okay, so this is read as f triple prime, is defined as the derivative of f double prime or the third derivative of the function f. So in general, the nth derivative of f is the derivative of the n minus 1 derivative of f. If y equal to f of x, other notations for the second derivative are given like this. So y double prime, or we have d squared y over dx squared. So that indicates a second derivative. Okay, second derivative of the function y equal to f of x. So for example, find the third derivative of the function. So this is the given, y equal to uh, 5x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x plus 3. Okay, so we are asked to find the third derivative. So we have we are going to uh, take the first derivative of this. Okay, so what is the first derivative? So using the rules in differentiation, so we have y prime. Okay, y prime is equal to. So using the rules in differentiation, so this will be 15, 15 x squared, then plus 8 x, then plus 7, right? So that is the first derivative of the function. Now the second derivative, so we call it y double prime. So again, you apply the rules in differentiation. So this will be 30. Okay, 30 times x using the power rule, then plus 8, right? Then the third derivative or the y triple prime is equal to 30. Okay, so that's how easy right, in finding the higher derivative of the given functions or function. Okay, so that's our first example. So y triple prime is equal to 30. Now if f of x equal to 3x plus 4 raised to power 3. So f of x equal to quantity 3x plus 4 raised to power 3. So find f triple prime. Okay, so what is our 
solution here so using the power rule so f prime is equal to f prime of x so using the uh, general power rule so this will be so the power will go down this will be 3 times 3x and plus 4 then raise to power raise to power 3 ah 2 ok because you subtract 3 by 1 so this becomes 2 then derivative of what is inside the parenthesis so this will be times 3 ok and this is equivalent to so we have 3 times 3 so we have 9 ok so 9 times uh, 3x then plus 4 raised to power 2 ok so that is the first derivative of the function now the second derivative of the function so we call it f double prime of x so this will be so we'll consider this one here so again power rule so we have so the power here will go down then multiplied by 9 so this will be 18 18 times uh, 3x plus 4 then raise to the power so what will be the power now so raise to the power 1 right or you didn't you don't need to write the 1 if you like you can put one here then multiply it by what is inside here so derivative of 3x is 3 derivative of 4 is 0 okay or this is equi equal to 18 times 4 uh, sorry 18 times 3 uh, 3 times 18 so that is 54 right so 54 and times three x three x plus four. Okay, so you don't need uh, to write the exponent which is equal to one. Okay, so that is the second derivative of f or f prime f double prime of x. Now the since you are asked to find the third derivative, you see here, we have the f triple prime. So it means the third derivative of the function. So f triple prime. f triple prime of x. So equal to. So we are going to consider this one here. So we have here a constant and we have here our u. So this would be uh, 54 uh, multiplied by uh, 3x plus 4. So derivative of 3x plus 4, derivative of 3x is 3, derivative of 4 is 0. So this is just times 3. So what is 54 times 3? So equal to? So 54 times 3. What is 54 times 3? So this is equal to, so 3 times 4, 12, then carry 1, so 3 times 5, 15, plus 1, so 16, so 162. Okay, so this is the third derivative, no? or f prime 
f triple prime of x is equal to 162. All right. So that's uh, the simple idea of finding the higher derivatives of the given function. Okay, so I think uh, to make the video shorter, so I'll stop at this moment and then in my in our next video, I will uh, give you some details about this implicit differentiation. Thank you very much and have a nice day to all of you. Stay safe and healthy always. God bless. Bye.